If a completely randomized design experiment involves K treatments for each part below, determine the number of comparisons of treatment means that will need to be made in a multiple comparison procedure. So you have parts A, B, C, and D, and of course all they do is give us a different number of treatments, and we have to figure out how many multiple comparison procedures are needed to be made under those scenarios. So what you want to do for this is actually pretty simple. There's a formula. It's a combinations formula, actually, back from your earlier stats training. So you're basically saying, you know, you want to pair up these means two at a time. And so if you have k of them, three of them, you're basically doing three choose two. Now, if you work that out, you're going to see that that's going to become three factorial over two factorial times the difference between these two, which is one factorial. So the difference between three and two is one, so one factorial. And then what will happen is you'll end up getting, what, three times two factorial, which is going to cancel out with this value of two factorial here. So that cancels out, and you end up having three over one factorial, which is the same as three over one, or in other words, three. Now there's a simpler formula that you can use just generically, so I'm going to introduce that now, which is the idea that anything choose 2 is going to have the following formula. If we started out to be k factorial on top over 2 factorial and then k minus 2 factorial on the bottom, well that can simplify then to k times k minus 1 times k minus 2, but then at that point the next one would be after, after, on and on could just be written as k minus 2 factorial. And then 2 factorial is just the number 2 because 2 times 1. And then you'd have the k minus 2 factorial at the bottom here. Well, this and this will cancel out because they're the same. So you can use a simplified version of this formula just to say k times k minus 1 over 2. So for example, we could have done this by simply doing 3 times 3 minus 1. So 3 times 3 minus 1 is going to be 3 times 2, which gives you 6, divided by 2 gives you 3. Let's try that in part b. We'll just use this simplified formula instead. We'll have 5 times 4 over 2. 5 times 4 is 20, over 2 then gives us 10 as the answer. And in part c, it's the same thing. It'll be 8 times 7 divided by 2. You can also do this. You can say 2 into 8 goes 4, and 4 times 7 gives you 28. And then lastly, we have scenario D. And D is K is 11, so it'll be 11 times 10 over 2. Again, you could put 2 into 10, which gives you 5, and 5 times 11, you end up with the answer 55. Or of course, you could have said 11 times 10 is 110, divided by 2 is also 55. So either way, those are your answers. This is how many multiple comparisons you'd have to make on the scenario where you had 11 treatments. That's quite a lot of comparisons to be made.